Happy Thanksgiving, almost Happy everybody in holidays. Yeah. This is the Wet Shavers round table number 22. That's Thanks. right, folks, 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20. what I used to shoot a turkey with today, in fact. <laughs> it's not yes. a Thanksgiving episode, Rico. It is our Thanksgiving episode, so cheers to you guys out there for sticking with us and hanging out, and we are here to chat all things wet shaving and talk about uh, a whole lot of stuff, actually, a lot of gear, a lot of stuff. We've got some big giveaways coming up that we That's will true. be doing. We also have a drawing for the Movember team. Christian Levesque will come, with the, come in and join us for a while and talk about what's going on in Movember. We are... I guess like the last stretch of November, actually. So Yeah, this is the last week coming up. So if you guys are planning on shaving your beards off finally or your mustaches or whatever, if not, I highly recommend you just continue growing them because it's epic. And like, you know, the guys that said they can't do it, like I saw, uh, you know, David, his mustache is looking sweet. That's looking pretty good. It's all right. It's not, not bad, you know. I wish it was a little bit more even, but uh, I can live with this. See, the thing is, you got to give it to. time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but before we pass on uh, November, I just want to say, folks, that my profile in November is pitiful. And I, you know, I know it's mostly me. I haven't been able to put much time into it, like all these other guys out there. Like Tim Blem's giving away like shaving soap, brushes. Uh, Chris Christian's running around doing all the stuff with a little girl. I'm only assuming it's his daughter. Uh, I mean, we listen, hope it's his daughter. Yeah, yeah, I, his I don't. Daughter. I don't get. I don't get that kind of game. So this is like I every week on our show. I just I reach out to you because this is my platform. This is the yeah. only time I get to sit down during the week and actually focus on the stash. And yeah. um, you know, if if you can find it in your heart to donate even a dollar to the Douglas Smythe November campaign, that would be <laughs> friggin' Do awesome. It. Make sure to put that, uh, the link down me. below, Douglas. I'm yes. sorry? Make sure to put the link down below in the description. Uh, below. Yeah, I'll, I'll, when I edit this, I'll pop, put that in there. But yeah. you can find me at MovemberTeamHitGam.com. And HitGam is H-T-G-A-M. And it's not yeah, how to get away with murder. To, yeah. It might be easier just to post the link because, again, that's one of your notoriously long-ass <laughs> URLs. So please, post the damn link. Uh, that's easy enough. Movember, uh, come on, say it with me. Movember oh. Team HitGam. <laughs> Dot com. I've had to say it like 72 November times, so by now I remember it. But <laughs> for our audience, they never has to say that long shit. It may be difficult. Get over it. But can I just say, uh, it's really funny these days because I get uh, you know uh, announcements and alerts when hit games used in the media, and I get all these false alarms now thanks to this show, How to Get Away with, with Murder, because people are putting in you know, the hashtag <laughs> hit game. They're leaving out the W. So, but I mean, it's like it, and like I don't know who's doing this. Like, it sounds like sixteen-year-olds because I read the descriptions. Like, it's so good. This is the best show. Ever. And it's like, really? How old? Are you? I've watched the show. It's okay. But I mean, like, these people are. It's, I'm almost wondering if they're paid to do this. But uh, yeah, Hitgam. They keep using Hitgam. And every time I see Hitgam, hashtag Hitgam, and hashtag Scandal, I get all nervous. I'm just like, but they're talking about TV shows. It's really <laughs> That's crazy. funny. It's so I haven't watched the show. I've seen the commercials in it. I have no interest in it. It looks awful, but I don't know. But yeah, as I always, tweet on. yeah. <laughs> but as always, guys, you can tweet us your questions uh, or comments, anything you got for us at WS Round Table, and we will try to get to those later in the episode today. Also, just to note, and I know we've got a list of a few. If you guys are aware of any holiday scents that are coming out or are already out, I can Please do Thanksgiving count. or Christmas. Uh, let us know what that is in the tweets, and uh, we will try to mention those on the show right now. What What is that one, David? This is Steel by uh, Through the Fire Fine Crafts, Maria Armin. It's a green apple, gingerbread, and vetiver soap. This smells fantastic. I am by no means a fan of food scented, scented soaps. It's just not really my thing. <laughs> Do they smell great? Yes. <laughs> this, on the other hand, though, the irony. That last yeah, exactly. Vetiver. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. The vetiver, the vetiver on this, in general, I like gingerbread. I love to eat gingerbread cookies. 
That's one thing. See that. <laughs> but the vetiver just dirties this up enough and balances out the soap to where it's not overly sweet. So I'm a, I'm really impressed with this scent. That vetiver really make really sets the tone for this. It, just, it sounds really nice. like the little gingerbread guy running away, right? Like he's all muddy <laughs> up. Yes. Yeah. Run and as fast as you can. Yeah. We, he's been uh, hopping through gardens and hopping fences and yeah, that little bit of dirtiness to it. Yeah. So <laughs> this is awesome. Nice. Awesome, Maria. I don't know if Maria's watching. I was just PMing with her because I wanted to know when it was coming out. And it's coming out tonight. She's been having some trouble with her website, so bear with her, folks. But that's coming out tonight. And there's a few V-listings she's going to be posting. Let me just pop over really quick to see what she's saying to me. Uh, but So that will be coming out tonight. So, yeah. and, so, and also Sucker Punch, Cutthroat, Power Hammer, and Broker will be back. Uh, and that, yeah, it looks like tonight. But yeah, website problems, as always to be expected when you release something. So yeah. give her some time and check, check in an hour or two, people, and uh, it should be there. Also coming out, we have, uh, from Kelly, we have Beaver Woodwright's Jolly Roger, which is going to be his festive holiday pack. And uh, I say pack because it's, it's, it's a combination release. It's the soap and the aftershave. Yeah, there's the logo right there. Uh, Jolly Roger, um, the aftershave coming with it is 7 ounces as opposed to I think 3.5 is what he typically releases. So you get more bang for your buck there. It's coming out in a great gift box, too. That'll be available Black Friday. So cool. that's coming out. Dr. John uh, is also coming out with Krampus. And that'll be... I'm, I hope I'm not screwing this up. I'm almost certain, though, it's December 4th. You guys know if that's if I'm right or wrong on that? I don't know, but I was... No. Uh, I think yeah, it's December fourth. For a while, I thought it was. I thought it was Black Friday, but I, I could have sworn I saw December four somewhere. Yeah. So, if I'm wrong, John, I'm sorry. Uh, if anyone out there in the forums is watching or listening and can correct me if I'm wrong, or correct me even if I'm right, see what happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so December fourth for that as of yet, and yeah, steal tonight, and then I'm releasing Kane. Kane on. Uh, nice. Because I'm able. <laughs> no, but yeah, so I'm releasing Kane, um, Aftershave, and Soap on Monday. So that's coming out on Monday. People keep been PMing me for days now, like, when is this going to happen? And I honestly don't really plan that well, unless I'm really, like, building towards something. I, you, I don't really plan that well, so Monday. And next week I'll be giving away. Now check this out. Uh, yes. It's a satin-finished DOC. David actually saw this in real life. I um, want one. I want. <laughs> They're sweet razors. This yeah. is a, the satin finish, though. The satin finish is really something, something special, and I'll be really, uh, giving this away on next week's show. So, folks, pay attention and return next week for so, possibly winning this. So, in order to get in that raffle, do I not? Am I not on the panel next week, so I could get on that <laughs> giveaway? I'll just watch. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I won't God, be here. If you want me, it'd be the end of me. Yeah. So, Douglas, speaking of giveaways. What do we got going on with oh, these I'm glad you, giveaways? Well, you're asking. Okay, this is how it's going to work. Is in order to enter into the giveaway, you must participate in tonight's show. So we need to see you in Twitter or on G+. Uh, Twitter is a better better yeah. vehicle for this just because it puts everyone in one place. But we will take the G+, uh, participants in, in consideration as well. And we're going to just assign you numbers, and then eventually I'll be putting you on the board and... Spinning to find a winner. So that will be uh, what we got is, well, we got Kane. So, how, so the yeah. aftershave will be one winner. The soap will be another winner. And then I have my new spindle brush. Nice. I don't know. I don't. I, I, are you guys furniture, furniture guys? You, like antiques and whatnot? I dig antiques. This is, <laughs> this is based on spindle furniture. Yeah, so that is awesome. So I don't know those old school bed posts or legs on uh, almost colonial. But uh, yeah, so this, this is the spindle, and it's a suave knot, uh, 26 millimeter. But this is also in the giveaway as well. Douglas, on, on that particular on that particular handle, do you have the knot set lower? Because that seems to be a lower loft than the other brushes I've seen you have. It may just be my mind playing tricks on me, but it seems it seems lower, right? Which I think is great, but yeah, this one is this is like 20 millimeters in depth, where it typically would be like 15. Oh, so okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's got more. Uh, I would assume more backbone, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
It would, yeah, just by default, it would have more backbone. Um, it's punchy. Well, I, I, I define these type of knots when set as such as punchy. Yeah. Uh, so I got that going on. And I also want to announce, for those that didn't see my announcement in the forums today, um, is that A+. Plus yes. Salty Lime. These, these <laughs> two are being discontinued, folks. Why? So until I have... Uh, until they're gone. They're, I mean, I only have them until they're gone. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um because I know this is a, these are favorites for a lot of people, but we got new stuff to make room for. Out with the yeah. old, in with the new. It's just so, the holiday season. Going back to this, the you want to show off the wheel? <laughs> you like the wheel, huh? I do like the wheel. How many spots do you got? Because so we've got three. See the bottle. Yeah, By the, the way, <laughs> Plymouth Gin, folks. This is how festive I am feeling today. That's how he rolls. That's how, <laughs> Yeah. This is also how I spin. So Yeah. Look at that. So, look at that. That's, so how many spots do you have on that? So I can kind of get uh, this worked out. I have 16. 16, okay. It so may not be so, however. I can change it. I mean, this, it's dry erase. So. Uh, okay. So what we will do, uh, hopefully, if you guys are watching and participating, for every 16 people or something, we'll kind of write you down. We'll try our best to get it in order. Um, and also, what I will be also giving away, and this is going. this is a throwback. So you guys are in for a big treat if you uh, are watching. So jump in, put your questions down. We'll, we'll be writing your names down and assigning numbers. Douglas will spin, and then whoever that number that is. <laughs> Douglas will spin. <laughs> yeah, I will check the list. We'll match it up with the number, and hopefully this goes smoothly. But for my giveaway, and all you have to do is same thing. This is a how to grow a mustache. Dot com synergy. Pumpkin Pie 3.14, and yeah, this is awesome, guys. This is brand new, never been used, and it smells awesome. It's great for this time of year, and I'm kind of sad to give this away because it is such a nice collectible. I love these old tins. <laughs> I'll be keeping my gondolier forever. I'm not kidding. Like, not the soap, but uh, the tin. I'll hang it on my wall or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> so we got four giveaways going on, plus. Welcome with us is Christian Levesque. How are you doing today? I don't know if he can hear me. Yes. There you go. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, so Christian, later on, we'll be talking about Movember. We're kind of at that last stretch for Movember. So we'll be talking about that, and we also have a drawing for that. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. It's right. for a... Uh, a Matthew Martin Martin North uh, brush, nice. Matthew North Martin brush, and a uh, uh, also a two soap pack from uh, Mr. Erskine Soapy Bathman. So uh, it's it's a it's a big lot lot of soap. You're getting a total of 16 ounces of soap, so you should be good to go for uh, 60 uh, for a good six months almost daily shaving. And I just noticed Mr. Gonzalez having a beer, so I've got in the festive spirit as well. And I have here uh, a, a bit of eggnog. Cheers. And, um, and it's brandy. been seasoned. Cheers. It's, it's actually been seasoned with rum, and I think Douglas may recognize this bottle. Florida Kanye? Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> is it really? Nice. <laughs> what year is it? What? It's the, I think it's the 12, 12 year one. Wow! Oh, seven, it's seven. It's seven years. Sorry, yeah. It's the um, it, it's yeah, see, that's, a, that's it's that that's a different that's a different label uh than they have in, in Nicaragua. But um, that's the best rum I've ever ever had. It's like even mixing it, I feel bad mixing it because it's so good and it gets you doesn't get you drunk. It gets you kind of like I, I don't know, like psych it's like stoned. <laughs> I can't put it any other way. But it's like this really <laughs> not that I know what that's like. I, I don't even know what that's like. But uh, I can only imagine that it's like it's it's it's, it's very uplifting. I mean, that that's how I like to roll anyway. And uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, like I used to make my own beer out of kits a long time ago, and they used to have a lot of flavor. And uh, I used to get a different buzz from them. So yeah. there, I learned that you know, although it's alcohol, chemically it's the same components. Uh, you um, uh, synthesize them differently, I guess. And uh, sure. yeah, you get kind of buzz. So, like tequila. Uh, tequila is another one. Yeah. It's a psychoactive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Fascinating stuff, folks. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, uh, Khan will be on just for a little bit. He can't stay for the whole show. He's got a couple special guests hanging out with him, and 
they'll be kind of our teaser beyond the giveaways for the day. Uh, so really looking forward to see those guys when they jump on. It'll be really cool. Uh, so how about we hop into kind of highlighting some gear? Um, David, you want to kick it off since you've got quite a bit, and I'll be taking names down. I'm taking names. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I already talked about the steel soap from uh, Through the Fire Fine Crafts, which, again, love that scent. It's, it, and it's a food scent, which yeah. the irony of this is cracking me up. But it's a, it's a very rare occurrence that a food scent will stay in my den. That's going to stay, man. I, I, I enjoy that shit. That's, that, that's good stuff. <laughs> but uh, if you guys haven't noticed as of recently, I've been on a real, like, uh, tea-scented soap kick. Um, I was bitching and moaning that Soap Commander and PAA was discontinuing black tea and their, and then Soap Commander was doing white tea and ginger. I was bitching and moaning about that. Um, last week I showed you guys Monica Gillum. She sent me an awesome uh, black tea and amber soap. Well, this week I actually have one from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I have Tea Party 508, both the soap and aftershave. Awesome, awesome scent. Um, Douglas said that he was going to come out with something to replace the black tea, something with a little bit more depth and just a little bit more, um, some more notes, have it a little bit more of a balance. So I, said, I guess he has like a bunch of different teas in here and, and whatnot. Whenever he comes back, I'm sure he can explain what specifically is in there, but this is an awesome scent. My, my, my tea uh, fetish continues, so that's what I'm going to be using right after this show. Nice. And additionally... Um, Maria Armin and her and her husband James, uh, they sent me that soap. Well, he also uh, sent me a restore that Mr. Armin had done. This is a, I believe it's an eight eights, weight and butcher. Obviously, it's a square point, absolute monster of a blade. It's either a wedge, is I think it's a near wedge, maybe a little bit of a hollow ground. But th this one right here, I talked to him and I believe he said that it was a regrind. Uh, for those of you guys that are not familiar with uh, a regrind process, it's pretty much actually a little bit more of an extensive restore process as opposed to just kind of like the cosmetic uh, hand sanding. They, they will eliminate some of the surface rust or some pitting that's a little bit, that's not too deep. When you regrind a blade, it'll actually, it's usually done to fix a little bit more, uh, I don't know if you want to say serious, but a little bit more extensive uh, damage, uh, uneven home wear, um, maybe even uh, some dings and, and whatnot. Well, this was, he said this was a light regrind. He did an awesome job with this. I don't know how well you guys can see it. It looks right beautiful, here. man. Is, is well, that a wedge? I believe it's a wedge or a near wedge. It's, okay. it's, it, yeah, it's, it, it's damn near. I'm not the best eyeball for that. I probably should get better at it, but... It's just it's beautiful. The the work the blade looks like a brand new blade. It looks damn near flawless. Yeah, and that's it, awesome. And of course, something that I love that he was still able to keep the stamping on the tang right there. He has a, a wood handle on here. It's, it's just excellent work. So I look forward to shaving with this baby. It, it's just a monster blade, and that's probably why I always uh kind of flock towards Wade and Butchers. I love this these big beefy blades, and they're just beautiful. The craftsmanship on Wade and Butchers are fantastic. So. I'm just truly honored that uh, Mr. Armin allowed me to test out this blade for him. And for those of you guys that don't know, he also makes his own custom blades. He has Armin blades now that he's uh, you know launching his own custom blade company. He oh, just wow. yeah he just did a uh, a nine eighths blade, which is a monster of a blade for uh, Bob Gonzo Randolph or Rudolph. That was his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Randolph. Randolph. Randolph, you know. Randolph I mean, is festive, though. <laughs> What's up, Gonzo? <laughs> so Gonzo got a nice red nose there, Randolph. <laughs> yeah. So Gonzo got a huge blade from him, man. and it's just impressive work, man. Uh, he, again, if this one restore right here is any indication on the work that Mr. Armin is doing, um, I'm definitely going to be doing more business with him in the future because uh, pretty much all my razors that I keep in my den are vintage restores. So I know what I like, and this is just – this is superb work. So, David, we got – I think you, you met her at the meetup, Omar in California. I don't know yes. if that's her actual name or uh, – no, that's, her, that's her dad's name. That's her dad's name. Angela. So, Angela. So she said – she just commented on it. Well, she made two comments that I thought were funny. She said, that's a cleaver, which I have to agree. That is a – show that blade again. That is crazy huge. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's it's mass absolutely massive. And then she also said, <laughs> Douglas, she said that sweater. Now you took it off, but uh, <laughs> that was an epic sweater. That was an ugly. I wish we all wore ugly sweaters. So, well, you guys didn't. You know, you didn't get the memo yeah. in time, so I decided to take it. No, I'm trying to. I have a couple. I don't know if you remember the MTV Music Awards where REM was up there accepting awards. <laughs> and Michael Stipe, every time he got called up there to accept, accept an award, he would take off a T-shirt and have another one underneath that said something else, political or whatnot. So yeah. that's what I'm doing here. This is my, my brand new UK Wet Shaving Society T-shirt that just came in. The guys over in the Facebook forum released these last week. That is awesome. And it's great. The design is super cool. Really digging it. It's... it's uh, well, you know, where David's is is David style. This is like this is totally UK style. I mean, look at that. That's really good. That is awesome. Uh, I'm really digging that design. Yeah, I am. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. As soon as I saw they were releasing, I was like, "Yep, doing it." And so, uh, so hey guys, those of you watching, uh, yeah, hey UK guys. Forum, thank you so much for the shirt. Excellent job and a great forum. And you know, any of our UK watchers out there aren't a, a part of the forum, uh, the UK Wet Shaving Society. It's on Facebook. Please join. And it's a great forum. Zero drama. Excellent group of, of cats over there. So Yeah, great guys. Fantastic. Yeah, I like that forum. That forum's really cool. Yeah. So Douglas, do you have any gear you want to highlight for us? Uh, beyond I have Marauder you... Bay. Oh cool. But Bell and Claw. Now I'm still really Bell and Claw, they're remind me again, what are they? What, are are they, they like? I mean, like, are they an artisan? Are they like a big company or? Artisan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's, it's an artisan soap. Yeah. Yeah. It's made by a. Oh God, Christopher makes this. Uh, why am I? I'm totally blanking out on Chris, Chris's name right now. But it's Chris. Uh, Bell and Claw. He's definitely um, artisan and probably one of the most. I don't know. Underrated artisan soap makers out there. So. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan. I've been I've been, I've been trying to get him for a while, like carry his products, but he's just he always does small batches, which I respect. Um, but it just it's never enough to wholesale, really. So finally, he yeah. did make enough, and I finally got him in. But it's been a year of us going back and forth. Uh, I don't think I only have like one of these left, so I wouldn't even try from me. But try from him, Bell and Claw. Uh, I'm pairing this with Mass. Now, see, I had um, Nate Clark, Nathan Clark here in the the yeah uh, yeah last week. Or, uh, yeah, this week, rather. But uh, he was here, stopped in for a visit. And I met him in California, in L.A., or in Pasadena at the uh, Big Shave West. And we got along famously. It was, it was good to see him again and uh, actually spend some time with just him. So, yeah, we shot the you know the breeze here and whatnot. And we were going over different products. And he saw I had Masters on the shelf, Masters Bay Rum. And I was just showing him all different products, different Bay Rums at this point. And, as, you know, this versus Clubman. And he, hands down, says Masters makes a better Bay Rum than Clubman's Bay Rum. Wow. And I would have to agree with him, actually. I really do. I really do love this this Bay Rum. So this is something to look out for, for uh, folks. It's always cheap. If you can find it, it's definitely something you should have in your den. It's Masters. It's the bomb diggity. Um, there's not, not much else I can really say about it, except it rocks. <laughs> and it kind of has the top of the bottle kind of looks like your brush you're giving away. It's spindle style, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or it could be a rib for something else, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it fits. <laughs> it fits, but uh, yeah, no. So excellent <laughs> stuff, folks. That's what I've been using this week. Uh, oh, I also I've been using um, uh, my stealth razor. I have to revisit this razor. You know, I never give this razor enough time. I absolutely love this razor, but there's so many razors I'm always using or falling in love with and using for weeks. But the stealth, the stealth was just like for all the. Time and energy a lot of people took trying to get this razor or the yes. amount of money they're paying for it on eBay nowadays, I see. Like, this kind of just fell in my hands. Like, I was there at the right time with, uh, talking to Joe, and he's like, hey, I'm about to release this. Do you want to put it on the list? I was like, yeah, just talk, you know, put me on the list. And sure enough, he did, and I got it right away. And um, awesome shaver. And so I've been spending another week with it, uh, just getting reacquainted with it, if you will, because the, the whole – the you almost have to uh, hold it, like, parallel with your with – your, Yeah, it's a crazy it, angle. It's a crazy angle, but it makes perfect sense, and you know it gives such a close shave. So, and I only did three passes. Typically, I do four, but yeah. So, been rocking that's this for a week. My, my wife stole mine, but yeah, that's an awesome razor. It's an awesome razor. I mean, it really, it was so funky when it first came out. Now, a lot, a lot of other razors are falling suit, but uh, the knurling, everything about it, it's just great. So, that has been what I've been using this week. Awesome, uh, Christian. 
You got some stuff you want to mention for us? We'll give them a moment here. And just so you guys know, out there, I am keeping track of all your names for the giveaway. Um, and I guess if there's not as many to keep redoing it, I will just keep your names in. If you've already won something, we'll just pull your name out and just roll with that. So anyway, Christian, what do you got for us? All right, well, if anyone uh, follows uh, what I do with my Shave of the Day setup, it's basically a Shave of the Two Weeks because I spend so much time writing it all down, and I also participate in a French forum, so then I translate everything into French, so it's uh, quite a task. So I do it every two weeks, keeps things simple for me. But at last, at the last meetup from um, uh, Brent uh, Jacobson, uh, I picked up a, uh, I purchased a razor from him that he picked up at a flea market. It is a, uh, it's a 1932 Gillette fat handle tech. And I just love, I'm trying to spin it around here, the, uh, I love the handle on this, the, the Roman pillars on the, the, the top part. And the knurling is, is nice and uh, it's tiny, but it's, it's solid enough. As well as uh, on the head, you have Gillette, um, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the Gillette logo from the day uh, printed on there. And what makes this even more special is that it was manufactured in Canada. So my collection of, of safety razors focuses mostly on my birth year and the different models. And I have all of them now, except uh, the pink and the yellow uh, Lady Gillettes. Uh, but I, ne I didn't have a Canadian-made uh, Gillette. And I love this handle so much because when I got my father his uh, converter kit, um, it had to be a Gillette Tech from the day. and that handle is so beautiful and it's got a nice little weight to it so I really enjoyed that and also at the meetup uh, Mr. Charcalis, Peter Charcalis, uh gave me uh, four samples of the soaps that he'll be launching. I don't know if he's going to launch all of his yeah. soaps on um, December 1st but I've got these two um, and they were very soft soaps like Cropes actually and uh, they smell really nice. Uh, they're not 100% up my alley, but they're they're certainly not offensive, and I don't dislike them. I, I they're really nice to smell. So there's uh, and then there was also two other small samples, um, and I, I used uh, just for three shaves each. And uh, one of them is the copy of the uh, Floyd Blue, and I find that was a little bit too soapy for my taste. Uh, but the uh, the other one, the Florida Water one. Tasted just fan tasted yeah smelled fantastic because it's got a uh, it's got kind of a I don't know if I'm being precise when I say this but it's got a cola scent to it uh, yeah, along with the spices that and, might be uh, yeah I was talking to Peter about that Floyd Blue so so that should be a bump of that uh, that hey, echo you wearing headphones yeah I don't know what happened there. That's okay. <laughs> Go on, Christian. <laughs> but anyways, I, I, for, the, for the past two weeks, the last 12 shaves, I've tr done three shaves with each one of these soaps, and um, maybe I need a tutorial on how to recognize the differences between the performance of the soaps, because to me, they all performed at a, you know, 85% and above um, level. And it's difficult at one point to say, well, this soap is definitely way better performing than the other. For me, they all in the same kind of range is difficult and I think maybe the differences in preparation maybe the amount of water may affect their performance therefore to me a lot of them are uh, sort of similar they're not disastrous but they're all you know I'm, I'm getting great shaves with them so um, I, I enjoyed the four soaps uh, samples that Peter gave and I also experimented the past two weeks with the blades in this razor because the last two platinum covered blades really um, irritated my face. When I say really irritated, it's very relative. You can't tell by looking at my face, but I know how I feel after I'm done. And I tried it again with a, a, a Nastra uh, platinum, the, uh, the green one, and uh, it didn't do anything. So uh, now my theory of platinum covered blades is ruined, <laughs> or Nastra. Is the exception, but uh, I, I find it very interesting uh, to have evolved to this point after a year and a half in wet shaving to be able to actually give um, some solid uh, data back on the blades uh, that I'm using. Now, with the soap, uh, I still haven't evolved to the point of being able to distinguish between, you know, 
the, the grays of the different soaps, because these are diff definitely from two different artisans, the two different types of, I couldn't tell you, you know, what was really better about one than the other, really. Um, so maybe someone can just speak up here and give a, ten, uh, a, a quick uh, one minute uh, thing on, um, you know, how to distinguish between the qualities of the soap. Uh, because I know I've tried some soaps that are really, I can tell the difference is there, okay? Yeah. Art of shaving soap to me was a big difference when I finished using that tub and started using, you know, uh, excuse me, punk, pumpkin pie uh, from the uh, HD, uh, the, the HitGam uh, formula. The difference was very remarkable for me, and it was easy to see. Yeah, exactly that yeah. one. So um, I was able to automatically say, look, I didn't have anything wrong with the, the art of shaving soap, but there's definitely better, and I've, I've lived it, and therefore the art of shaving is now going to be put on the side, and I'm going to keep working on my other stuff. But when I keep trying all these other soaps, I cannot find a gigantic difference. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Douglas, uh, that's kind of, I mean, we'll ask our in-house Soap maker. <laughs> Maybe no, I you think can that, tell that says a lot about the quality of soaps you're using. Then, um, I, what I look for is um, <clears throat> pretty much cushion and glide, and then post shave feel. And some so the first time I use a soap, I'm hearing an echo. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Is someone not wearing headphones? No, everybody's. Okay. So the first time I use a soap. That first day, I don't use an aftershave. Well, I do, but I, I splash it on hours later because I want to okay. feel what that feeling is, what that post-shave feel is after the shave that the soap provides. Is it like, does it feel smooth? Is it like slightly oily? I mean, like, you know, what, what does it feel like? Um, and I, you know, I can do that. So these days, I don't even really slap on an aftershave after I'm shaving. I just, because I'm coming to work and dealing with scent, so I don't want to confuse what up my nose. Yeah. So yeah. I have a luxury there. But if you can get away with at least waiting, you know, 20 minutes, the more more time you wait, the better, because it'll really give you an idea of the quality of the soap. But um, that's what I look for in soaps. I mean, like, there's some soaps that have no post post shave feel, but th that's fine. If you're using a balm or an aftershave or a cologne after the fact, who cares? But I mean, some people. This is what they really look for, and this is something that I look for. Yeah. Uh, glide so what cushion. happens? So may I interrupt? Like uh, I, I rinse my face with cold water. I apply a nylon block, and then I, I put away all the toiletries hanging around the the, the basin in the bathroom, and um, uh, you know, put the pomade in my hair and brush that. And by then, my face is dry. And then I rinse the alum off, which I think at this point I've pretty much rinsed any residue left from the soap. Would I still get a, a, an after soap impact? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will. Just because the soap's an oil and you're just splashing cold water on your face. Well, it's made of oils and butters. So, I mean, right. it's going to be in there in your pores. It's the, the, the warmth of your skin is going to spread that out eventually after the fact, too. Um, that's why during the course of the day, if you've just used shave soap, you will catch whiffs of it here and there because it's, it's in the yeah. pores when, when you're sweating or when you re-wet your face. It brings it right back to life because it doesn't wash off your face with just a splash of water. But what it does do is it flips over onto the surface of the water, so it's, it brings it right back out. That's one way to refresh your cologne or app shaves too, people, by the way. During the course of the day, it's just a little bit of cold water on your face, and yeah. that will bring it right back to life half the time. But, yeah, so that's what happens there, Christian. I, did I answer okay. your question? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did, yeah. Uh, and that's why, guys, I've seen somebody do this before. There was a my friend, my best friend from high school years ago did this because Seinfeld. It was a Seinfeld episode. They used butter. That stuff gets in your pores, and that's why that is so. Uh, they use like actual butter, so you're gonna have like. Oh, get rancid. Work it, uh, yeah, yeah, rancid stuff sitting. Uh, uh. Anyway, <laughs> but that makes me touch on something as far as artisans go. To me, that just proves and shows how much. All the artisans over the years have kind of elevated their soap game, I guess, if you want to call it that. And well, they're all using the same recipe. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, all the artisans, uh, to me, are you know, I, I kind of hate giving actual ratings like a, it, they're a nine or a ten or whatever. But most of them, I would say, out there that I've tried are, you know, at that level, a nine or a ten. Like they're just like some of my favorite stuff to use because it's just that good. So um, I have to give a big thanks to a couple guys out there. Uh, the owner of Your Best Face sent me some new products that are coming out, 
and I won't go over all of them he sent me, but uh, I will mention this one because this one is he hit this one out of the park. This is patchouli, non-lathering shave cream, and this scent is fantastic. Pure, nice. it's really really great stuff. Really high quality stuff. If you guys haven't tried it, really good stuff. Uh, and then David, uh, a guy out there who's been following, and I think he sent David. David Gonzalez, some stuff, but he sent me, um, again, some more soaps, which just blows me away, and I haven't tried it, obviously, because I'm growing a beard, but when I Blame. shave, I will be using this stuff. Well, I'm, I've got a, I've got steps I'm doing this month for the... No, the 12 no, steps? Yeah, yeah, I'll be joining you next <laughs> month. Salud! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he sent me uh, Shipwreck Cove by Beaver Woodwright which I have not tried this stuff yet. I'm looking forward to it. I've seen... That scent is fucking awesome, dude. I love, love, love that scent. Yeah, he sent me that and the matching <laughs> aftershave, which yeah. I'm uh, really excited to try. I've, I've seen this in people's shaves of the days, and it just seems like it's a high-quality stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. And then, again, I missed out a long, long time ago. This was all the rage, and it would pop up from time to time. Uh, Tim's Greek Peach. Oh, yeah. And this is not what I expected. If you guys have smelled Savannah Sunrise, I thought this was going to kind of be like that. This is different, and it's beautiful. It's awesome. And they're both great scents. Um, so I'm not saying one's better than the other. It's just <laughs> I, I expected Greek peach to smell what Savannah Sunrise smelled like. Uh, two different peaches. Uh, <laughs> and then he sent me Shaver Heaven. Shaver Haven. I don't know why I want to say it like that. Um, he sent me Honey Ale, so which is very nice. fitting for the holiday. Nice. Oh, and this is fantastic too. Yeah, it, it does seem like something you want to drink. So, and then on top of it, I won in a group called the Fragrance Raffle Group, which is really cool. You can win some fragrances. You might lose some money. It is gambling. I don't condone it, but I do it. Uh, yes. So. <clears throat> But I won Terry Mugler's Pure Havan, which is a tobacco scent, and uh, it's really, really awesome, really great. And since we're getting to this part, I just want to mention, before we jump over to our friend Con, I have to kind of make an announcement for you guys, just so you know what's going on, and so there's not a lot of <laughs> Douglas and David aren't getting a bunch of headaches of what's going on. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on in my life, so I've had a hard time. Trying to keep up with the show, and um, I just I've wait. So you're spreading this on us now? Well, Why? Well, what? Yeah, I just want to. I can't handle this. <laughs> yes, you can. You can handle <laughs> it. <laughs> but I'm gonna step down for the time being, uh, just for a while. Um, I've got other stuff I really have to focus on in my life. I'm trying to make some big changes, and um, baby so making people. Baby making. <laughs> well, that might oh, be happening. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, but um, anyway, I'm. Since this is the holiday season, since it is Thanksgiving, and I know it's cheesy, Douglas and I were kind of joking about this earlier today, but I do want to get to a part where we say what we're thankful for, but I do have to say first and foremost, I am very thankful for the show. I'm very thankful for all the guys on the panel, all the guys that have been my friends over the, uh, you know, meeting Douglas in Chicago was one of the highlights of my trip. Oh, when I get, oh it was. <laughs> <laughs> and meeting David was awesome, and... Uh, and I don't know, I, I just love all these guys, and uh, if you guys aren't a part of the communities, you really should jump in and join in, because it's a lot of fun. You get to meet great people that I never would have had a chance to meet otherwise. So anyway, long story short, I don't want to bring the the conversation down, but uh, I, I, I do have to step away, and I'm sorry, guys, if you're out there watching and you're sad about that. If you're happy, then great. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Uh, but anyway... Con, I see that you're out there. How about you jump on? And who do you got with you? Hello. Howdy. Hello. You got kind hey. Of a How you doing, guys? Cracking to have you aboard with us. <laughs> Hang on. Can you see me? No, we can't see you right now. I don't know what's hey, going on. You go sooner or later. Hang okay. On. <laughs> <laughs> These things take time. There you are. There we go. Hey. How you doing, hey, my friend? How you doing? Oh, he's got the November stash. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Makes you look 10 years younger, Con. 
Hey, thank you. Thanks, Douglas. <laughs> no, in a good way. Because you can't say that in a bad way. I didn't, I didn't see Con could grow any hair on his on his whole head, so I'm kind of surprised to see hair. I thought there was none. Yeah. It look, what is that? He's a beatnik. He looks like yeah. He, he looks he looks like yeah. a Parisian. A Parisian well, hip hop <laughs> artist. I feel like a Parisian this morning. I I've, I've got a headache. You look um, like you're in your dorm. Is that your dorm? <laughs> Uh, You're supposed to be I, studying. I, I, finish. Yeah, go for I've, it. I've, I've, uh, I've spent some time here with some really crazy dudes. Yeah, and I guess yes. Come on in here. Come on in here. Um, They're still near dorms, right? Yeah. yeah. Douglas. Yeah. Hey. Peter. So who do we uh, got? Salud. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving, uh, Peter. Uh, Plymouth, baby, Plymouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does. Guys. What's up, Mark? Peter? Nice seeing you guys. Uh, he certainly does. Savignon. Well, How many sips so far? There you go. <laughs> 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 does that say Pugin? That, that, that comes after, right? <laughs> <laughs> It, they forgot the T. It's pungent. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter well, certainly um, does. So this well, is Kyle's ten years younger. I look ten years older after spending a couple of days with this guy. No, you both. You all. You look like you just got out of the dorms. Like you're getting ready to. Uh, I don't know. I, I just recently seen Peter, and he's looking old as shit. He's really looking old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is. Wait, 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 he, I swear to God, I think he aged ten years the fucking week he was here for the meetup. Good God! Well, his guys start. He's starting a store. He's starting a wet shaving store. And yeah, he's he's wine and roses. Oh that's I, gonna I, age you. I told him I, I was worried for his health because shit, like <laughs> he, he aged rapidly. <laughs> yeah, who was sick, David? Who who couldn't eat? Yeah. <laughs> who took hey, Peter away I from me? I'm drinking now, right now, baby. I'm perfectly fine right now, eating and drinking. So <laughs> let's, let's do a formal uh, con because I don't know if everybody out there watching knows who all these guys behind you are. So we've got on the on your right, on our left, stage left, Peter Charcolis, Charky, and Hello, yeah, good to see it. So he's in Sydney right now on a business trip. On a stool. <laughs> 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 he stinks, let me tell you. Not that type of stool. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, and no idea. <laughs> Febreze. Every dorm should have Febreze in it. Yes, they <laughs> <laughs> And to Khan's left and our right, we have Mark Gurgis. How are you doing, Good. sir? Good. How are you going? From what, well, actually, I do know because I have one of uh, a blade honed by Mark from the ambassador, Paul Sordello. This guy knows how to sharpen blades. If you need a blade sharpened, yes, it's across the other side of the world, but this guy can do it. He's a he's a home meister for sure. So, Mark, good to see you. Let, let me tell you something. Uh, Mark bought his stones, and and Chucky's getting his rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Mark. I, Mark, I thought I thought you'd be under the table and you'd be coming out at this point. <laughs> you remember that? Huh? Yeah, he was undercover. <laughs> Is it still shaving? <laughs> well, that's what happens, though. We have to worry about that. <laughs> can, I, can I just say, folks, that um, Chucky was kind enough to bring a lot of the samples from the very exciting launch, and and I've got to tell you, these soaps are. Very, very nice. Oh, Primo. Primo. And we've been smashing them with this brush as well. I mean, we've been really hitting them hard with this brush, uh, and it has survived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, figure. It's, yeah, I know. So, um, no, guys, this really is... This, I just want to say, Peter also brought a little bit of Thanksgiving joy with him, being, yeah. you know, a citizen of the United States and whatnot. So this has been kind of our Thanksgiving episode. I don't know if you guys have been following or not. So we were about to hit, like, what we're all thankful for in the wet shaving world this year. As yes. cheesy as that may sound, I'm at the bottom of a bottle of Plymouth. So, I mean, like, 
can we? You guys want to roll with that? Yeah. Want to take? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you know, it's like I don't know if you guys are familiar with Thanksgiving. Yep. That's when the aliens landed in Roswell, and they had a picnic. <laughs> no, seriously, this is real. And they had a picnic. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sure Peter, you know, filled you in. But uh, yeah, yeah. so should we have them started off? Real? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have our our uh, friends down under. Let's have Mark do it since Mark is he's like he's so smug and stoic in the background. Like, what's yeah. going on there? So Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this, this can be in general, and it can also be in regards to shaving. What What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I'm, I'm thankful for the beautiful straight razors that are out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful, lovely, new and vintage razors. Um, yeah, you know, I'm thankful for Sharky's good stink. I love his good stink. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, but ironically speaking, um, we just seen the bad side of Charky stink about ten minutes ago, and that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I should have opened the windows. Uh, Never again. <laughs> That's a whole other Facebook page. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we, we had to walk past it, and I, we, I you think, ran. I ran. I <laughs> <Someone> walked. <laughs> 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 like Con wafing through a lavender field? Was it like that? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Running through the field. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Have you noticed this? T Chucky is taller than all of us here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he got a raise. <laughs> Con, so what are you thinking for? <laughs> He's standing on some shit. Yes. <laughs> Or is, or is Mark and Khan sitting on the floor? Do <laughs> 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 I have a? I love you, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I love you, David. Hey, David. <laughs> yeah. Where's where that that gingerbread uh, soap? Right here. Steel. Cause I, dude, I, I see a shocking resemblance to you. <laughs> 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 Wow! Hey, well, my looks, my, my looks, and your height put together. Here it is. <laughs> Peter, what's right. it? It's called gossips. Is that what it's called, Peter? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. Help. <laughs> All, right. Tom, All right. What are you thankful for this year in, in the world of wet shaving? Look, as boring and as cliche as it may sound, I'm really thankful. Say me. For, for the for the friends that I've made in this in this community, guys. And, and and ladies from all over the world. Um, when I was in California, uh, the time, the fun times we had there with uh, David Rocio, um, with Damon, with yourself, Douglas, with all these dudes. I mean that I we talk we were talking about that you know last night. It, it's just the friendships. I mean, let's face it, we're we're a group of people that are obsessed with shaving and with grooming and all the rest of it. And to to have such um, really rock solid friendships, I think that's it's pretty extraordinary. In fact, I was telling these guys when I when we landed in LAX, um, I was actually asked, "What is the purpose of your visit here, sir?" <laughs> and that, I, like I said, that. "Yeah, how do you explain that?" I said, "Look, I'm here for a meetup." Yeah, what sort of meetup? Oh, well, it's a conference. Well, what sort of conference? And I said, "Well, it's it's a shaving conference." And he said, "Uh huh, right." <laughs> yeah. You can't I make that like up. <laughs> And he says, so where do you know these people from? Did you go to school with them? I said, well, they're kind of like family to me. Yeah, but where do you know? I said, well, Facebook. <laughs> I explain it. So the more I tried to explain this thing away, the worse it got. It just sounded real. You know, it sounded like I was a, I was a Maniac. fool. Yeah, I probably yeah. am a fool. I, I, yeah. I, I'm a fool. <laughs> and, and in that I, I love each and every one of you equally. I, I just think the friendships, the relationships, and the sharing of, Really, really cool stuff. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's not let's not get that carried on. You should have seen what was happening. Anyway, uh, yeah, we can. We'll see the later. pictures later. <laughs> there was a lot of spooning involved. Oh, oh man. man! I bet. <laughs> so, Peter. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> I, I'm thankful that my wife hasn't thrown me out. For buying all these soaps, number one. I'm thankful for the one I opened. <laughs> <laughs> to, to piggyback, but in all seriousness, 
to piggyback what Khan said, it, it's really all about the, the friendships. I mean, <laughs> who would have thought that you, know, you become close friends with people that you actually never even... Have nothing in common with. Joking. David and Rocio and Douglas and Fred and Ricky, I haven't even had the pleasure of meeting you yet in person. Yeah, Christian, I haven't. It's just wonderful. I mean, I, I'm here in Australia every six months, and Con and Mark have become like family. So it's just, it's just, it's just wonderful. This, this, what, what shaving has, has yeah. enabled us. So uh, Peter, you're there for six months. No, every six, every months. six months he's here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> so just a quick comment, uh, and I agree with all your guys' points on on what you're thankful for, because I'm thankful for those same things. But uh, Jeff Atkinson says, Con looks like he's trying to find enough guys for a hacky sack circle. Do you guys know what that is? <laughs> Con, do you know what that is? Do you, yeah, do you a boring know what game. Hacky sack is? I think they invented it over there. Isn't it, it's an aboriginal game, isn't it? These, these guys are wearing the sack t-shirts. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's cool. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. It, those shirts just make me feel dumb. <laughs> Again. <laughs> well, we're glad to see ask, you guys. Ask, ask Magnus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's jump to the other guys and see what they're thankful for. Christian, how about we start with you and then we'll jump down the panel. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm thankful. Uh, there's two main things I'm thankful for. One of them is, obviously, yeah, in the past year, I've... This feedback. Yeah. yeah. I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys got so, shut down! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these three guys. No, seriously, uh, I, I'm thankful uh, for having met so many people uh, online, but also through the two meetups that I've been to. Uh, the Grand Shave West uh, in April, and then uh, the Grand Shave Lodge uh, a few weeks ago. It was great to meet everybody. It's really fantastic because we share the same passion, but we're all very different. It's it's difficult to pinpoint a demographic to say people that are like this typically are wet shavers. So I find that really interesting. It's great it, to get out of our hipsters, own man. little bubbles. It's hipsters. Not, <laughs> it's not hipsters. It can't be. <laughs> And the other thing I'm grateful for is the ever-growing uh, wet shaving uh, world. The pie is growing. There's more people. There's more artisans. There's more people doing, uh, make, uh, uh, creating products, uh, bringing innovation, and there's more people using those products. And I'm really grateful for that because I, I, I feel uh, very passionate, uh, uh, passionately about wet shaving, and I'm happy that it's still growing. It's not just a tiny niche that's peaked. It is still growing. As a matter of fact, you know, I know last year I used to think, oh, this is, it can't get bigger than this. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And uh, I'm really uh, thankful for that. I wish it just kept on going, you know. So those are the two main things, the friends and uh, the larger community. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? David, how about you? Oh, man, um... I'm just thankful, thankful for every opportunity that I've been given because of this hobby, man. Like, I've been able to make friends that I trust more than people that I know in my own community. I've been able to travel across country. I've been able to start my own company with the support of people that I met through this. It, it, it just means a lot to me, man. That's, that's probably what I'm most grateful for. The, the opportunities that this has given me and will continue to give me in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Douglas, how about you? I'm, uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm thankful for a lot of things, but mostly I'm thankful for the fact that uh, I'm still here. I had a hell of a year, people. Uh, last year, this time, I didn't know. I was at the crossroads. I didn't know what, what we were going to be doing, what was going on. There was a lot of, like, bad stuff being said and going around the forums and whatnot that, well, yeah. most part is, was not true and is not true. And you still see that to this day. But regardless, I'm thankful that there's so many great understanding people that are forgiving and filled with compassion <laughs> that have accepted me into the into the community and, like, 
made it what it is. I, we got you know, your back, bro. We have your back, Douglas. <laughs> I've been fighting people on every fucking forum over your over your stuff. Damn it, we got your back, homie. Yeah, I, I, I'm like the eccentric, like middle middle brother, middle aged brother. I'm uh, not middle aged. Uh, <laughs> He's middle aged. Middle child, but yeah, probably am middle aged now. I do have this craving for a motorcycle all of a sudden. But yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the middle middle kid maybe, but like the eccentric one that and these guys have my back apparently. I've made a lot of mistakes over the last couple of years. I'm new at this, you know, I'm just starting like anyone else. And uh yeah, I I I've done some screw ups. I've also done some really cool things too that not many you know, some people don't don't recognize that. Some people do. I'm I'm appreciative of the people that do and the people that appreciate and the people that you know, come out for these things and like are there and the people that support Fran and I and what we do and make th this whole thing possible. The fact that we're doing the roundtable right now, this would not happen if it wasn't for like the love of the community for all of us and for what we do and we're, what we're all doing. And like it's it's us guys on the show this year right now. Next year, who let's see who else we got down the the pike. You know what I mean? Like there's new, anyone can do this. <laughs> And I welcome everyone aboard. You know what I mean? Like let's keep it going. This is awesome. And so I just like to thank you all. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's where it all started, folks. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> yeah, and kind of to reiterate what every, everybody else has said. I mean, all the people we've met, uh, all the people I've met, um, just the community at large, the people that watch my YouTube videos, all the soaps that are out there, all the artisans that spin. I don't know how long it takes you guys to make this stuff, but I'm sure it's hours uh, that go into yeah. making this stuff. I'm just very thankful for all of that. I'm thankful for the for the friendships and and something that you touched on, Douglas, was um, every time all of us are doing something positive in the community. What's really cool? I mean, we see the negative stuff a lot, but the cool thing is we're seeing a lot of influence happening because of the positive stuff that's going on in the community. I know of. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bust the news because uh, I don't know if he wants people to know yet, but I know a guy who's because of this show, he's starting his own podcast that has something totally different than wet shaving, but he was just inspired by it, and I thought, hey, that is so cool. And then there's a lot of guys. I mean, we've seen this over the years. Uh, David can attest to this. Khan can attest to this. Pretty much all the guys on the panel can attest to this, but we've seen over the last year just the guys that are doing shaving videos, you know, guys that just say, hey, you know what? I'm watching these guys sh shaving their bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching these guys shave in their bathroom. I can do that. Why not? Let let me uh, let me put my camera up and and uh, pull a David and drop it on the floor or something and and see how it goes. Man, I love when David does that. You need to do that again. I love how other people do it because I'm like, that's so David. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great, man. I've become a fucking bird. I'm like, oh, you can put a David. <laughs> Call the David. Well, it wasn't even your door. It's like, it's like all, all my life I've come here to put this fucking thing. That's I, I pulled the David's door. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys out there, and uh, let us know what you're thinking. Echo. And, yeah. Sorry. We probably better. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's just some kind of glitch. Sorry right. about that. Uh, and uh, anyway, I just want to say real quick, if you guys uh, let wait, us know wait. what you're thankful for in the wet shaving community, and I think Con has something he's wanting to say. So Con, Con is saying they're going to skedaddle. They got, they got. Yeah. It's cocaine and hookers from for the rest of the night for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that was last night. <laughs> Oh boy. oh, boy. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll leave you to it. We love you, and uh, we got a scoot. Yeah, Happy good to see you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Guys. Have fun. Thank you. Have fun, right. guys. Oh, what's going on? Have fun. Have fun. Whoa, that was like the craziest thing ever. Yeah, it's like Animal House over there in Australia. <laughs> Those people. So, we got a couple uh, soap mentions real quick. So Soap Commander has Thanks Living. Yes. And then Carrie actually private messaged me, and I told her I would let everybody know she has. Darren and her have, uh, what is it called? A winter seasonal called Fortitude, and it will be available December 10th along with a limited edition scent resolution, which will be the winter scent for 2014. So they're both releasing on December 10th. So keep an eye out for Soap Commander, two soap, seasonal soaps. I have an announcement to make, Rico, if you're, if you're are you done? Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I, I meant to mention this at the beginning of this show, but we're just releasing Cider House 5, our soap. Yes. The aftershave's still not ready yet. It's still maturing. But we did release a limited amount, like 25, 30 of them, I think. Um, Put one aside for Josh Rimmel. Man, oh, no. That's, no, I'm sorry. There's a there's a hundred of them. There's a hundred of them. They look funny. He's been dying for that shit. Josh, Josh, I don't know if you're watching, but get that shit. I don't know what David's talking about, but 100 of them we just released, so they're available again on the website. And I have one other last request before we go into this contest. Yes. Is, this is what... I don't know why I'm holding it up, because you guys aren't going to recognize this little vial, but Nathan Clark... I know what that is. This is what Nathan... <laughs> no, this is... No, that's not what you think. Um, Nathan Clark dropped this off last week, because he's my dealer. No, uh, because this is something he gave to me a few months back. I lost it. This is a sample of a certain... Avon aftershave. Uh, Thing is, we can't figure out which one it is. He wants me to try to recreate it. I, I don't know if I'm able to yet, but I, what I would like to know, because I know there's some guys out there that collect vintage Avon aftershaves. If you do and want to send me a sample of each, this is like, it's very summery scent. It's tough to describe. It's It's... It's nice though. It's really nice. <laughs> it's such a smooth scent, and it's so old. But um, yeah, I'm looking for a, a sample of a bunch of Avon classic Avon aftershaves with the names of what they are, just so I can compare them and uh, get back to Nathan on this because we we're both at a loss for what it is. So I, that was really it. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, which one do you want to do? You want to do the giveaway, or do you want to talk about Movember real quick and do the drawing for that first? Oh, let's do uh, let's do Movember first. Okay. Christian, let's hop on over to you. Sorry, I muted you because we're getting some weird... I don't know what the feedback's from because everybody's got headphones. But Christian, if you're ready to talk more about what's going on in Movember, and then uh, we'll do the drawing for that. All right, okay. So uh, just to let you know that uh, what we're at so far, uh, the U.S. Movember team has raised so far $2,700 with its 54 members. So it's uh, inching forward. We're heading into the last full week of fundraising, and that's usually the most active one. And that's the one where we urge all our members to contact their friends and family and colleagues to uh, see if they can donate. Yeah. Uh, even myself, I find I have to f build up some courage to do that because uh, you know we all you know normally don't like to be solicited. Um, but this time, if you're doing it, you know, with people that you know that are close to you, and you say, "Look, this I do this once a year. It's my one thing. It's my one gig. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad." So I'm I'm going to be uh, knocking on some doors again, uh, and uh, bring up, uh, you know, uh, my fundraising, my own fundraising numbers. So so far, Canada, uh, U.S. has raised twenty-seven hundred dollars, and in Canada, they've raised twenty-one hundred dollars, uh, nearly twenty-one hundred dollars. So. We're now at forty-eight hundred dollars with um, fifteen plus fifty-four, sixty-nine members. So we're doing really well, and uh, I think we can do even better. And this last week is really going to be where uh, the metal uh, hits the pedal, or where the pedal hits the metal. And a uh, nice T-shirt change there, by the way, hey, Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with with that in mind, I'm going to try to live record this drawing. So, if you guys will uh, just bear with me one second, I'm going to try to get the Google to um, uh, do my uh, show the computer. It'll take two seconds here. Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, this is Google Hangouts we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Yes. Okay, so share. Okay, so for the first thing I'm going to share is the list of uh, people that are uh, in the running. So as you guys can see, nice. there are ten people. Uh, hey. uh, sorry, ten, ten entries. Three people: Brett Dills, Oscar Sanchez, and Hugo Martinez. The numbers assigned to them are right beside them. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, reset this uh, screen and go to the random uh, my random.org screen to screen share that, and uh, we shall uh, see what comes up. My computer is behaving really slowly. Yeah, uh, it's blame Google. Here we go. Here we go. Random org. Can everyone see the random org yet? Oh, sorry. Share. <clears throat> yeah. 
There we go. All right. So I need to set up. I need to pick two numbers because we have two prizes. We have a uh, brush from BrushGuy.com. That's Matthew Marking North's brush. It's a very beautiful orange and purple and black um, metallic uh, brush in a, wow. uh, acrylic resin, and uh, also with um, uh, two soap pucks from uh, Soapy Bathman. So here we go. There's ten entries. Two numbers are going to be generated when I hit get set. Boom. Boom. All right. And number one and two. So Brett Dills. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Wait, so you show this because you wanted people to believe this wasn't fixed? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's not fixed, people. It's broken. <laughs> well, congratulations, Brent. That's really, really cool. Yeah, Brett uh, wins both prizes, so uh, he's all set up with a brush and soap for a very long time. Thank you very much, everyone, for participating. Your donation is highly appreciated. And uh, next week's prizes are going to be a uh, soaps from uh, Jeeves of Hudson Street. Nice. Uh, and it's uh, going to be uh, his very special pomegranate soap, his limited edition soap, <laughs> as well as uh, there's going to be three prizes from... Um, uh, a Yeti snot, uh, the Yeti soap, so three of his highly mentholated soaps he's giving away. Snot. So, uh, yeah, it's hard to get that soap now, and he's... Uh, he makes a mean soap, people. Yeah, he's about to put his soap back on the net. He's going to have a stock of it, but we have three of them available for people. So it's going to be four prizes this upcoming week. So before I sign off on uh, this uh, November's... Um, Segment. I just want to thank uh, Matthew and Chris for the generous donation of the prizes for the raffle. Uh, it's very uh, cool of them to do that. And you know what's really, I think, even better is the fact that they're also members of the teams. And I think that speaks a lot of uh, of all the people that have participated in this and that have donated. So uh, you can hear me, but you can't see me. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Brett Dill, Brett Dill says thank you, so uh, he's really excited about this. So, uh, <laughs> he said, hope you enjoy the little kickback. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> uh, you know, Matt. We almost Matt, had Matt with us this week too, this weekend, but he's they're they're traveling, traveling for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving right now. Yeah, would have been great. So, uh, you want to do the giveaway? Um, I do, Douglas. Thanks, Christian, by the way. I, I didn't uh, mean to cut you off there. I just want to say thank you for all the hard work you're doing as team captain for Movember. It's fantastic. Yeah. When it comes to like team captains, Christian is the team captain. I mean, like, compared to all the other captains I've had in the past, he's the one. Like, I mean, when he's not online, he's still thinking about this and talking to himself <laughs> or his daughter about this, I'm sure. Yeah. I get PMs, PMs 24-7, like 3 o'clock in the morning. Christian's there Christian's emailing me about email. something. It's like, yeah. <laughs> That's Go to I, sleep. You know, I, I'm, I think I'm being nice to Douglas by saying, look, I haven't pestered you in 24 hours, man. Yeah. Can you rest in that 24-hour time? <laughs> That's funny. It's like, what other team like works as hard as Christian does? Like, Christian's like, he's in it. Yeah, and I respect that, and uh, that's why we got. If Chris can do the job better than me, he gets the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing with you, Rico. Yes. You run the show. You got the job. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. So, uh, Christian, I'm gonna mute you because I think we're getting weird echo on your end. I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah. But you're fired. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Good job. You're fired. Uh, yeah. Hold so, me. Don't touch me. Let me double check real quick on Twitter and see if we got any new names. Okay, we got a couple. So put them in the box for me uh, in the message box here, so I can. Oh, that's a lot, dude. Uh, I'm just writing numbers down. So okay, yeah, I'll put the numbers in it. I've I've got the names, and uh, I'll tell you how many we've got. We've got. Oh, that's a new one. So I'm cutting it off right now, guys. Uh, so we got Eric. So if anybody has commented on Twitter or G Plus asked us a question, you're in. Uh, if by chance, because I don't think you're giving away an aftershave, correct, Douglas? I uh, that's part of it, yeah. Okay. If if you're international and you happen to be something where we um, mention, I'll figure. I'll, I'll work it out. I'll make you, it something of equal value. Okay. Okay. So we'll get we'll we'll get you something hooked up on that. So we've got a total of twenty four people. 
So I don't Excellent. know how you want to do the uh, how you want to spin the wheel. <clears throat> if you want to break it in half, or oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Or we'll or we'll cut it off, and then whoever the winner is, I'll pull them out, and then yeah, that's re what we'll do. Reassign numbers. Well, actually, no, that's kind of that's not fair. Uh, I'll double up. I'll double it up like the calendar. So, okay. uh, so I have 16. So starting with one, one will be 17. Two will be 18. You see where I'm going with this? Yes. So if that is the case, so I'm sorry, we have 24. Yeah, 24. Okay. It's kind of weird. So it's eight other extra spots. So up to eight is double numbers. So we could be killing two birds with one stone, and I'm all about that. Shortcuts are okay. Yep. Or mud Why cuts. Why don't you surround the raptor? Well, we've well, got four things we're giving away, so. Yeah, and we'll remove people as we go on to. Well, let's just see what happens. Yep. So, folks, this <coughs> brings us to our holiday raffle. And our psychedelic yeah. holiday raffle. <laughs> Here we go. That's my cheese ball music. I don't. No, no. I keep... <laughs> oh, what do we got? What do we got? Looks like nine people. Nine. Oh, that's great. So that's actually nine. It's solamente nine. Uh, nueve. Um, so who, what's the name for number nine? Mark Bedingfield. And where is Mark Bedingfield out of? Uh oh. Where are you, Mark? Let me see. Uh, sorry, guys. If this is semi entertaining and turning you on, that's what we meant to do on the show. <laughs> Mark, uh, if you would tweet me, yeah, Mark, you have won something. Please tweet me if you're still watching where you're at, because I'm gonna have to scroll down through, and I'm not sure where you're at. Kane, if he's not watching no more, don't give him shit. No. <laughs> so. Kane's so is yours, Mark. Just get uh, cool. either get back to Rico or PM me. Yeah. Now or tonight or you have 24 hours, pretty much, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do we got for the next one? For the next one, we are giving away Kane Aftershave. This is 3.5 ounces of awesome. However, truthfully, it's probably about four ounces. These are not the typical bottles I use, and they do tend to hold a little or take a little more fluid. So I'm guessing this is probably 3.75 or four ounces of awesome. So yeah, folks, Kane. This is like... If Santa Claus was to request a barbershop scent or a North Pole barbershop scent, this would be it. So this is to our next winner. Okay. He's in Reno, by the by the way. So who is the first winner, Mark? Mark. Okay. Reno. All right, Mark's still with us, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> this is making me sick. Woo! <laughs> uh, what do we got? Oh, uh, we got seven. Hey, Jam and G.I. James. But seven is all. Yeah. Way to go, Jam and G.I. James. You just won yourself some awesome in a bottle. Fantastic. Now that, you go. That's all, that, well, so wait, that's also 23, though, isn't it? Yes. So we got, jam, we got Jam and, well. What shit. do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> This is where it gets confusing. So, up for grabs was this. Jam and G.I. James got this one, we'll say. Yeah. And the next one was the Spindle Suave Crown King Brush. Tollywood, baby. Tollywood. This wood is something else. That's all I have to say about that. It is kind of magical. So, who was the winner there? Uh, James. Jam and G.I. James. Uh oh, no, 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 23. 23. That would be Soap Commander. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alabama, like, really, uh, one number in Alabama one. Yes. Okay, so Soap Commander. So you want to spin it one more time for the Hit Gam throwback pumpkin pie soap? I don't. I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> Now this soap, a little history about this soap. This soap was created for the scent off, which took place on Sharpologist a few it's years fantastic. back. A bunch of artists participated in this, and um, this, we pretty much won. 
Well, it was kind of a toss-up between Fran and I. Like, her, Pal Pleasure Fantasy's got best performance, but I think we nailed the scent. And since the contest is called the scent off, I figure I won. So uh, that's a little history there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be... No whammies! I think this time we'll do the... F- well, let me see. What do we got? Thank God. We have 15, ladies and gentlemen. That's 15. 15. Hey, Sly... Oh, win! <laughs> so Sly, you won. No, honestly, I'm it's... almost certain that was Sly's first soap. <laughs> that, I That's kid awesome. you not. So Sly, PM me uh, on Facebook or in G+. You know where, where I'm at. I'll, I'll get in contact with you, and uh, I'll send this soap to you. So congrats to all you guys that have participated, and uh, awesome, awesome. So you guys up for a few questions real quick? Well, I want to say really quick, though, Rico, for those yeah. who participated this week and for those who ha- hadn't participated, next week will be the Satin Finish Double Open Comb or Phoenix Double Open Comb Razor. This is a beautiful <laughs> finish. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like the same finish of, I don't know, something that would have a satin finish. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how Douglas is going to give that up to anybody else because that's actually getting sent to me. I got uh, something special for you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Christmas is coming, David. Don't wreck this. But yeah, yeah. so that's that's the giveaway next week. There might be something else included as well. But uh, I feel from here on in till the holidays are over, I think every week we'll do a giveaway. So yeah. what you Damn. got, Rika? All right, so we got uh, a pretty funny question actually. Douglas, how are your t-shirts changing? Is it magic or am I not paying attention? Oh, it's magic. <laughs> You're not paying attention. Uh, so we got uh, how do, 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 what do we got here? Somebody asked a cool question about scents for the holidays. For being say, I can shave say. Sorry guys, thanks for watching. If you are out there and if you do have any questions, we'll try to get to that quickly before we go. If you have something you really want to ask us, tweet us now at WS Roundtable. Um, you can even PM me too on Facebook. I'm actually yeah. I'm I'm more on Facebook at this moment. Every week I tune in. You guys have me laughing like an idiot. I'm thankful for what you guys bring to the community. Well, thank you. And where did we, that come from? That was from Michael Anthony. So I'm glad we. Can handle it. Thank you, sir. Pasadena. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. So Michael Anthony says, with Christmas around the corner, what are on your Christmas lists? So I'm assuming you're talking about. <laughs> Soaps <clears throat> and stuff like that. Uh, sheesh, I don't know. Um, I guess any. Well, obviously, I'm I've been focused a lot on fragrances, so fragrances are kind of up there. But let's just stick with soap. I would have to say, um, any. I guess top three would be like any Douglas's soaps that are <laughs> new that I have. I don't have, and there's it's a lot. I don't have a lot. Um, any of the limited edition from Soap Commander, I think they're doing an excellent job. And then Barrister and Man, there's a ton of Barrister and Man stuff I haven't tried. Uh, I actually want to try their Lava stuff. Con was telling me the other day, even though that's kind of their cheaper line, that stuff's still fantastic. Good so, quality stuff, bro. Good quality stuff. I love so their those, those would be my top three. Uh, David, how about you? What are you wishing for for Christmas? Um, uh, my big thing, dude, is um, I've been getting the 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 itch back to get some more straight razors, bro. So I'm I'm working on a on like three blades I have here to restore. I don't know, but I would like to get me a nice uh another nice weight and butcher uh, to keep to keep for here. I have um I got a custom brush made by Kelly Hogan, for with this certain uh type of material that I got from Beyond Wood Products, and I also got uh, scale blanks. For it, so I really want to get a nice beefy blade that would be worthy of those scales. So that's gonna be that's that's something I would really like to find for Christmas. Yeah. Also, I'd have to say, uh, I just thought of this, and it's gonna take me a long time to get to this. I've got a bunch of my old, like my grandfather's razors, and I'd really like to get those kind of like refinished and looking brand new. And uh, so some of those, just because they're sentimental, I don't know if I'd want to use them much. I probably would, but. I just want to get those refinished. Um, I think that'd be pretty awesome. Douglas, <laughs> what shaving stuff are you looking forward to? Ah, oh, geez, shaving stuff. You know, it's or really anything. Bad. I don't know. Anything. I want a drone. 
<laughs> oh, that would be sweet. I want a drone. <laughs> I, I really do. I want a dr- I, but not one of those like you know military industrial. Issues. You're already one. Of, you're probably the creepiest guy in your neighborhood. <laughs> and you want a fucking drone? Good God. <laughs> I do, and you know why? You're gonna kick your ass in Roswell, New Mexico, dude. I want to do, yeah, and that's why I thought about getting one, like Roswell, like to do the video. If it if it came in from the sky oh, and like hovered it down, you know, like greetings. This is Douglas Smythe. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking up at the thing. <laughs> that and, like, would be awesome. That would be awesome. awesome. Dude, that shit. So that would I'm be awesome. the future of YouTube shaving videos. I'm um, I'm taking it outside the pool, people, and I think I'm gonna involve a drone if Fran is watching and I I get the drone. But um, that or a cardigan. I want. I, you know, I, this I want guy to, can. This guy can rock cardigans too. I've seen him. Is that one you bought in Chicago, or walking <laughs> down the street randomly? <laughs> yeah, I did. That, that did happen. Uh, but I want. A, I want one of those cardigans with the the suede like patches or the yeah. faux suede patches underneath. You know, like the professor, last, like the professor's wool or something. Yeah, like a professor. You know, like a, a quality wool cardigan, uh, classic one, and. Uh, you know, so I could sit, you know, around the fire in because I do that all the time, and uh, yes. you know, smoke my pipe. <laughs> yes, with your in drone. A car with my drone. You yes. know, adding a, you know a modern element to it. But th- that's what I'm praying and hoping for this year is a drone in a cardigan. In fact, I would like the drone to bring the cardigan <laughs> to me, like a dog would bring me slippers or a newspaper back in the day. See, what I want to see is then I want to see a video done like where the dr- where the drone is shaving you if you could pull that off like just going up and down with the yeah. <laughs> now there uh, are a couple of razors that I have been looking at I don't really want to drop the names of yeah. what they are exactly just because uh <laughs> they're rare and I'm afraid other people are looking at them too I know they are yes so uh but there's a couple like darlings of uh, some rare vintage razors that I'm looking at right now they're, I will say they're European and um uh, Really digging them, and I've been searching for them for for years now. And I think I've I found two different ones that might happen. So that's what I you know would love for the hall. If Santa, if Santa, if you're listening right now, please, please, it's in my mind. You know which razors I'm talking about or thinking about right now. Make this happen, big guy. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic, Christian. How about you? Mike, <laughs> I'm back on. Okay, so yeah. I, I'm just gonna mention two things that I know I, I I'd love for Santa to bring to me. I don't know if I've been a good enough boy all year, but I would certainly <laughs> like a a straight razor that's got uh, more than you know eleven sixteenth uh, width uh, from France. I'd like to get one from France just because. Um, I'm part of a, a French group. They show a lot of uh, French razors. They look really cool. It's my uh, long, uh, long ago heritage, uh, France. So I think that would be very cool. Because I checked, there's no Canadian-made straight razors that are uh, still available. They had, I checked, there was a couple of names, but you couldn't do anything uh, with those names. There's no information on them. And the other thing that I'm looking for um, is a razor, uh, and especially a straight razor holder and a brush holder, something to. Uh, keep them together that looks nice that can fit the different knot sizes that I have uh, without me having to you know glue some one sided you know felt uh, to make sure that it can fit so those those are like they're very practical uh, gifts but um, they're 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 part of my acquisition disorder the evolution of it so because I have a lot of soaps and aftershave now and I, I there's tons more that I'd like to try uh, but um, you know reality is is a big obstacle so but the, those up those two things a French straight razor <laughs> and those holders are would definitely be work well for me I can work those into my routine but that's yeah. it cool. can I quote you on that reality is a big obstacle right now <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty freaking awesome well it is you know yeah. <laughs> it's only so uh, every, day, every day every day yeah it's it's a big obstacle I'm sorry <laughs> officer Reality is a big <laughs> obstacle. That's Probably. funny. So we got a uh, quick question, Douglas, on the cane soap and aftershave. Frank Gonzalez is asking, how can I get that cane soap and aftershave? How do you do ah! it? <laughs> the way to get that would be to uh, pay attention on Monday. Monday I'll be releasing cane. And, uh, oh, man, it's so it's funny because I thought um, Solstice was really going to be the one to blow up, and uh, I released it a few days ago, and it did it did really good, but 
the amount of PMs and emails I got on the anticipation of Kane, Kane was really an afterthought. Like I really put more time and energy into. Uh, <laughs> this always happens though. Yeah. Uh, people want a peppermint aftershave and splash, and like they have for a while, and they've been requesting it all year. And so finally, I thought, you know, I'll make Kane because I'm able. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no. So it, it, it did happen, but yeah, it, but wow. it's beyond. It's beyond peppermint. It's beyond candy. And if you notice, there's a duality to this label. It's not only a candy cane. It's also barber pole stripes. The original barber pole stripes. So there's a barber element. A oh, barber wait, 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 wait. Did you just use a, a, a cease and desist, sir? You just used a <laughs> I was. I was hoping they would come after me. I was like, because this is pretty much they own that, and it's like, yeah, it's. It says cane. These are candy cane stripes. Get off my back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so. Talc and peppermint and <coughs> corn mint. Um, it's a very refreshing splash. Corn mint. Corn mint. Yeah, it's from. Uh, it's really actually. It's very popular in India. Nice. And by popular, I mean it's very uh, evasive as a plant. <laughs> but uh, it's wonderful stuff. It you know contains menthol as well, so it's tingly on the skin. And also, it's a it's a a beautiful mint, almost peppermint smell. I mean, it's very close to peppermint. Um, it could be a candy in itself. It's delicious. But yeah, so that's what's going on with this, and I can't re wait to release that. So Monday, folks, this will be on scene. Magi, I'm pretty sure is coming on Black Friday. I'll be releasing Magi and uh, Carrie, uh, Kelly's uh, Jolly Roger. Yeah. People would write that. So that's going to be Black Friday, and you know, I'm just so happy. I'm so stoked about uh, all these soaps coming our way. Like the Jolly Roger, I'm really interested in. Doctor John's uh, Krampus, I'm really, really interested in that. I can't wait for that. Uh, now that I know about Maria's soap, I'm stoked about that. So those are also now on my wish list. <laughs> uh, there you <laughs> With go. The drone and the cardigan, I guess. But uh, yeah. <laughs> See, even a soap maker has dreams of soaps coming his way. I love it. Well, you know, it's just like I we don't make the same stuff. All of us artisans, we all make our we all have our own take on different things, and so you want to try that too. You know, I mean, you want to. You can't just like. I, I've read that Frank Zappa only listened to himself and didn't listen to other people, but I find that very hard to believe as a creative person. But the, his reason behind it is he didn't want to be influenced by other things. But if you listen to what he's doing, I mean, it's too late. You've already been, if you're a human being existing on the planet, you've already been influenced by other things. So why start now, like, you know, blocking yourself off from that? And so, uh, yeah, you want to, you want to, I mean, I'm a wet shaver first. I'm an artist in second. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we got the so two Soap Commander soaps also coming out, and Jeff Atkinson is saying, Douglas, that uh, he has some vintage wild country. I'm assuming that's yeah. Avon that he wants to send you. So, Jeff, I guess just private message what, Douglas. What I, well, he is private messaging me, actually. Oh, Jeff, okay. if, you're, if you're listening right now, Jeff, it, you know, one thing I can say about this, and oddly enough, is it's very similar. It would pair really well with Harvest Moon. Mm. There's similar notes to it inside this, so... I don't know if you have Harvest Moon, Jeff. If you do, and it pairs like famously well with it, it's probably exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, Nathan Clark, we might have a winner. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. Uh, the, so we got the t-shirts thing. I might add, the reason why we don't know what it is, because when Nathan bar he bought this at a, an antique store, there was no label on the bottle. So that's why was, <laughs> yeah, he's in such a quandary over this. But it's his favorite, So he's, but he's using it sparingly. That's funny. So let me go back real quick. I want to. There was a. What does this guy say? From the color, the Avon perfume could be. What is it? What are they showing me? For Grantica. Facets. Avon for women. No, 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 no. This is definitely a man, man's. What it's, are it's the a, notes? It's an one. aftershave. It was. In a, it was instead of a manly shaped bottle. So. So it's not. It's not jasmine violet. Tuberose, labdomen, frankincense, sandalwood, oak mosque, and musk, would it? Oh, well, <laughs> that's the lady scent? Yeah, that's yeah, that's the lady scent. Ladies wore it dirty back then. I mean, it could. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dot com. I mean, it could. Uh... <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Dot I... com. <laughs> it's, it's so... It's so aged, it's so mature that like it's one solid scent. But some of those notes, I do, I do definitely pick up a little bit of jasmine, a little bit of sandalwood. But there's something else going on. I don't think it's that. However, if you want to send me a, all I'm looking for is a scent swab, people. Give a Q-tip, yeah. dip it in there, put it in a little Ziploc bag, and send it to me. Uh, that would be wonderful for Nathan. This is for Nathan Clark, folks. This really isn't yeah. for me, but uh, as a friend, 
I want to help Nathan's him out awesome. Here. So Nathan's good people, man. So hopefully, it could come through for him. Yeah, he's a good person. Yeah, he's Nathan. Singular. And I, I have to say, Nathan is working on a project uh, for me coming out la just like last year. I uh, did a big giveaway. I'll be doing another one on my YouTube channel. And uh, I love his work. He does great work on brushes. He's, he's a, got some great ones coming out, let me tell you. He's a fantastic he some, fantastic guy. Yeah, you've seen his work. It's awesome. He brought stuff. some prototypes, though, with like stuff that we're about to see that, I mean, like, is I, I don't know how much I can say, so I'm not going to say anything at all, but, like... Yeah, this this coming year is looking awesome for what Nathan Clark brushes is bringing to the table. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not really seeing. I'm seeing a lot of talk about Florida water. It's kind of funny. I've, somebody said it smells like ginger ale. Another person said, "Yeah, I get a cola scent." So, oh, okay. Uh, great show. Any suggestions for shave soap and aftershave pairing with Tom Ford's Oud Wood? Uh, I'm not familiar with that scent. And I don't know, are you guys familiar with Tom Ford's Oud Wood? It's really expensive. The shape of Lucian may have an Oud scent that may go well with that. Yeah, I'm thinking if it's real woody, maybe a sandalwood, like PAA's sandalwood or Captain's yeah, Choice. Yeah, you could. But it's, 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 more, it's, it's different than that. It's a or, deeper. I mean, it would pair with it. It definitely would pair with it. Well, so he's got, he has the cologne and he's looking for a soap. Is that what's going on? Yeah, he's looking for, uh, let me yeah. see again. Uh oh, I just missed it. Uh, yeah, he's looking for a soap and aftershave, I guess, to pair with it. So something dark. I would say like a fougere or, a, you know, again, even Harvest Moon has some notes in there that will pair well with that. Uh, that's food in there, too, so there's that. Um, and Magi, which is coming out soon. Yeah, Magi would be awesome because it's yeah. got like myrrh and frankincense. Frankincense, and, and oud, and it's just like, it's a dark, dirty scent that would work, work really well with that. Um, it's all about pairing scents, people, at the end of the day. Matching scents is fine, but it's so one-dimensional. Yeah. You can really create depth and levels when you pair scents, you know, so yeah. just keep that in mind. Well, guys, uh, we kind of started a little late, so we're uh, kind of ending just a few minutes late. So, as always, you can find me at Rico's Corner on all the social media sites. David, where can people find you at, sir? Uh, you, you can catch me at uh, SoulSharpLimited.com or all social media outlets under SoulSharpDavid. That's Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, the whole deal. Oh, and SoulSharpLimited will be releasing uh, our new designs uh, coming next week. The, the printing should be done any day now. Shame life. Looking forward to it. Douglas, where can people find you at, at all your one bazillion websites? And I, know, right? I need one that contains them all. I need to yes. consolidate this. But until then, phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com, crownkingshaving.com, or howtogrowmustache.com. Fantastic. And Christian, uh, plug the moment. Like <laughs> and where can people find you at? Oh. So we've got – pull it pull it back just a little. Movemberteamhitgam.com, hitgameteam.com. Uh, please hey. pull – eh. Pull this out big time for the very last uh, week of November. Really help support a great cause for men's health. Please, people, please and, uh, donate to Doug. We, yeah. I, I need all the support I can get at this point. <laughs> I'll take 75 cents. I don't really care. Just to help me Just out here. Don don donate to Douglas. Donate to any of the guys out there. My goal was $100, I think. I, I'm, I'm at 50 I, I, Someone, <laughs> throw me a bone. Yeah. That, and Chris, need something to kickstart his heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Christian, where can guys find you if they want to watch? Uh, you you don't have YouTube stuff up, do you? I, I have a YouTube channel, but I I don't put it up much. I did my my uh, in my how to grow Ooh, mustache okay. November challenge uh, video, and oh. I've also did my uh, shaving off of uh, Captain Hooks, and I think I've found a name for this year's mustache. So. Yes. What is uh, it? Once Mo oh, no. Once November's done, that'll come out. But until then, it's oh, okay. all November all the time. <laughs> Rico, did you do your video yet? No, I haven't done it yet. I've been... I think my November video may have been the best one. I'm just saying. Just I don't know. Taylor's, just, Taylor's just pretty epic today, though. Did you see that? I haven't got to you see it. Tag me in because I I haven't got to go yet. <laughs> uh, Taylor's is, is the bomb, but um, and yours is, is not that bad either, David. But this, you know, to all the viewers out there, you don't need to be challenged to p partake in this. Yeah. You can start doing it and then just start challenging people. So if you've been paying attention, um, yeah. we have been doing this uh, Movember challenge, which is kind of like the Ice Bucket challenge, but it's Bloom Bucket challenge, and it's also Latherhead. And for more on that, 
please check out hitgammovemberchallenge.com. Yeah. So and stay tuned, guys, for uh, next week. We've got another drawing for the Movember. We've got more stuff to give away. And uh, thanks for being with us. We really appreciate it. We're very really thankful for you guys. And uh, hope you have a blessed holiday. Stay safe as you're traveling. Yes. And we'll talk to you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, good turkey day. Saludos. <laughs> See ya.